Hello, everyone. I never know how to start these. Okay. Today, I'm drawing a bird. Anyways, in recent news, I got back from Alaska a few days ago. I was camping out in Glacier Bay with my family for about six days, so that's the reason I posted a video at two in the morning and then went dark on social media for a bit. I did make a post about it on Twitter, but <clears throat> not many of you follow me on there. <clears throat> at just to see rabbit. <clears throat> Link in the description. But yeah, I do use my Twitter to try to update people on relevant things and also not relevant things. So if you care about that at all, then <clears throat> go follow me. But I was trying so hard to get that video done before I had no communication to the outside world. I brought my drawing tablet and laptop on the plane with me, and I had my laptop at my feet, which was connected to my tablet that was on the tiny little tray that folds out from the seat in front of you. It looked uh, really stupid, and you can imagine what the guy sitting next to me felt like when he said he needed to go to the bathroom. He then got to watch me fold up my laptop, put away my tablet, fold up my tray, sort of awkwardly pick up both, still attached with cords and everything, and walk out into the aisle so he could get out. And I still wasn't done the video after working on it through the plane ride, so when we got to this lodge where we would gather our stuff before heading out camping, I was working on it in the hotel lobby, which was the only place that had any Wi-Fi, till I got kicked out at 11 p.m. when it closed, and when I finally did get done the video, I hung out in the dark outside of the lobby where the Wi-Fi would still reach to get it uploaded. I was just a dude with his laptop and drawing tablet sitting at a table at 1 in the morning outside of a hotel lobby. I probably did get some weird looks from this old couple that was sitting at another one of the tables to watch the stars, but I couldn't really tell because, you know, it was dark. But I obviously did end up getting it uploaded and everything worked out well. On the flight over, I had a very interesting interaction with a flight attendant. Our flight left at some ridiculous time, like 4 a.m. or something, so I decided to get a McDonald's breakfast to take and eat on the plane. So I get on the plane and start eating using the foldable tray table on the seat in front of me. A couple minutes later, the captain gives the warning to start putting cell phones on airplane mode, stowing laptops, and putting away tray tables. Even though I'm still eating, I put away my tray table like a good safety conscious passenger. This made it a little bit more challenging to eat, but McDonald's breakfasts come on foam trays anyways, so I just set it on my lap and kept eating. I didn't think anything of it. Apparently the plane was delayed a little bit, and a flight attendant walks by, sees what I'm doing, and sort of laughs while saying, oh, you can use your tray table for now. You don't need to eat like that. So I put it down and then she immediately turns around to the other flight attendant who is behind her and says, did you see he was trying to eat all hunched over like this? And then I hear them both laugh. I was three feet away and here they were just mocking me. I wasn't turned around, but I imagined she imitated my hunched over pose and then they both pointed directly at me and laughed. Maybe she held up a sign that said stupid with an arrow pointing down behind my head. Uh, hey guys, uh, I can still hear you. If you could be so courteous as to move maybe eight seats away before mocking my efforts to feed myself, that would be very kind. I wasn't offended or anything, I thought it was pretty funny, and my brother, who was sitting next to me, heard them as well, so he imitated them and made fun of me too. But Alaska was a pretty cool place. TLDR version is my family and I went out on a tour boat and got dropped somewhere deep in Glacier Bay with a tent, food, and kayaks, and we stayed out there for six days. We saw a lot of cool stuff like brown bears, whales, bald eagles, seals, sea lions, and porpoises. Didn't get attacked by any of the bears either. Apparently, Alaska is very cloudy and drizzly most of the time, but for some reason it was sunny for five of the six days we were there. I actually got sunburned, which I'm pretty sure isn't something that's supposed to happen in Alaska. I thought about doing this drawing in my sketchbook, but that means I'd have to record it with a camera, and I don't want anybody seeing the horrible tan line that's on my arm. 
Speaking of the drawing, I should probably talk about that some. This is another idea that was suggested to me in probably one of the most polite emails I've ever gotten. They said, I would love to have a drawing of a northern mockingbird, which was followed by my favorite part. Those little critters are my musical companions in the morning on my way to school. And that made me happy. It just puts a pleasant image in your head. But I do really enjoy drawing birds. I drew birds for my final project in the only art class I took in college as an elective, but in that drawing I made the birds out of things that aren't birds. I feel like I've talked about this before. But anyways, as you can see in this drawing, I actually make the bird out of things that are bird parts. So all I'm really trying to say is that it's normal. What inspired the rest of the drawing is how this person described them as musical. So I figured they sing a lot, as some birds tend to do at ungodly hours in the morning. And the rest of the drawing is supposed to look like a sort of subtle music note that's made out of leaves, clouds, and whatever else I decided to throw in. Just mentioning that because I showed a few people this drawing before putting the video out and it wasn't immediately obvious, but I kind of like that. And when you do point it out, it's like, wow, that's pretty cool. And then you can't really unsee it. During my search for reference images of northern mockingbirds, I saw a map that showed the population distribution of northern mockingbirds across North America. What's funny is that they're most commonly found in southern places like Texas, Florida, and pretty much all of Mexico. Why in the world would you call it a northern mockingbird? Maybe it just means north of the equator, but I don't know. I'm not a, an ornithologist. I think that's what the bird scientists are called. Speaking of the equator and places on Earth, uh, that was a bit of a stretch. I went up to Wyoming to see the eclipse. My mom kind of forced me to go because it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity or something, so we packed a tent, some food, and drove to a small town called Glendo. I say forced because I was gonna be sitting out in Wyoming for like half a day doing probably nothing, and I was missing my first day of school for this, but it was still worth it in the end, honestly. Pretty much everything kinda sucked except for the total eclipse. That was amazing. During the stages of the partial eclipse, everything got very gradually darker. You almost didn't notice the change unless you looked around at the other shadows that started to blend in with the ground, because there was still a bright sun in the sky shooting rays of death down at your eyeballs. But when the total eclipse happened, everything got really dark. It wasn't nighttime dark, it was more of a twilight dark. There was even light coming from over the horizon like it would during a sunset, but the sun was very much over our heads being blocked by the moon. It looked like an electric glowing halo in the sky. Sort of like when they put the cover on the well in that movie, The Ring. That's what it reminded me of, at least. What I didn't expect was how cold it got as the sun was slowly covered. It dropped around 10 degrees at the point that it reached totality. So there's a little description for those of you who didn't get to see the total eclipse. It was neat. I hope you enjoyed watching. Teespring, the website I sell shirts on, recently started offering prints, so you can get this drawing on a poster or a tapestry if you want. Tapestry sounded really fancy, or at least it did to me, but apparently it's just a large piece of cloth that you hang up. Anyway, thanks, bye.